All right, so we're gonna do things a little bit differently today because the game that we're gonna talk about is not something that I have a ton of experience with. I actually just got it this past weekend. Our local spot that we like to go and get retro games, they posted a picture on Facebook because they had gotten a huge box of Super Famicom games and we were all into that. But we went in and of course it was just a huge box of racing, sports, and pachinko games. So we grabbed the only three games that were not of those dumb categories. We got Street Fighter 2, we got Wild Tracks, which is the Japanese version of Stunt Race FX, and we got this little puzzle game called Kuompa, which I have not been able to stop playing since we got it. So let's talk about Kuompa SFC for the Super Famicom. There's not really a whole lot of information about Kuompa on the internet, with most of what I could find coming from the Giant Bomb wiki. The game was developed by One Song Partners and published by TNE Soft in late 1996. One Song Partners had originally released a puzzle game called Endorphon on the PC in 1995 and wanted to bring that concept to consoles. They called it Kuompa and released it for the Satellaview add-on as BS Kuompa and the Super Famicom proper as Kuompa SFC. There was also a PlayStation version released later. As this is a Super Famicom only release, the game's tutorial is entirely in Japanese, but I was able to figure most of it out through trial and error, and since I'm not that smart, you should be able to figure it out on your own. Or I could just tell you how to play right now, I guess. Kuompa is a puzzle game with a really unique hook. You play as a multicolored cube that you roll around a grid and try to match up with colored squares. Each board gives you a time limit and a certain amount of life panels you must clear in order to proceed. It seems simple, but there's plenty of room for strategy. For example, you can't land on a panel if the colors don't match. You physically won't be able to pass it, requiring you to back up, change directions, and rotate a bit until you can work out the proper rotation pattern. If you're not careful, you can get trapped temporarily, costing you valuable seconds. Not only is making sure that your cube will land on the correct side down something that takes a lot of getting used to, landing on a colored square that's not a life panel turns it into a lightning panel. These will remain until you clear a life panel of that matching color, which sets off a chain reaction that detonates all lightning panels of that color. Any lightning panels next to an exploding panel will detonate as well, allowing you to rack up huge combos and potentially clear a board in one swift stroke if you're lucky. So you've got a choice to make. Do you go for a high score by getting a fast time, or by getting a huge combo? Don't do enough extra stuff and a time bonus alone won't get those numbers up. Spend too much time building a combo that doesn't fully pay off and you won't be able to finish the board in time. One cool thing is that the game has multiple save slots and will show you who has the high score on each individual stage. Apparently my copy was owned by someone named Samigi. That name doesn't sound Japanese, so who owned it before me? WHO IS SAMIGI?! This question will haunt me until the end of my days. So like I said, I just got this game this past weekend and I kind of haven't been able to stop playing it. The gameplay is just fast and it's addicting and I want more and it's just kind of one more level, one more level and we all know that that doesn't work. My wife had company over and she walked by the bedroom where I was playing and she said, you look like a zombie. So any game that can make me look like that must be pretty good. The game is incredibly hard to put down. Once you get rolling, you're not gonna want to stop for any reason. What makes a good puzzle game is how much you want to come back and keep trying over and over again, and Kuonpa will definitely sink its claws into you. On the surface, it- wait, who's that guy? This hasn't happened before! S samigi is that you?! On the surface, it doesn't look like much of a mental workout, but it'll definitely have your neurons firing. Keeping track of time and remaining life panels, as well as figuring out how to position your cube so the correct side lands on the color you want, takes a lot of concentration but it never feels overwhelming in the sense that games that feature an endless supply of falling pieces can get. It never feels like you're losing your grip on the situation. On top of the standard mode featuring both easy and normal difficulties, with easy only making use of three colors while normal uses six, there's also a puzzle mode that has preset pieces and gives you a certain number of moves to clear the board. It's a nice break from the timed mode and will definitely have you scratching your head as you try to figure each one out. It's a puzzle game, so presentation isn't as important as mechanics, but Kuompa is still a charming little game. 
I really dig the scrolling parallax backgrounds, and the simple polygonal graphics look great on the Super Nintendo. The music is wonderful as well. In fact, it almost seems too good for a puzzle game. The intense, sweeping tunes almost feel like they belong in an RPG and definitely make fantastic use of the SNES's sound capabilities. So like I said before, there's not really a whole lot of information about Kuompa out there on the internet, so the value is kind of hard to determine. My copy was $3. Online it seems to go for about 10 to 15 in the box, and about 7 loose, which I think is definitely worth the value for how much you're going to get out of it. If you're a puzzle game fan, then Kuompa is definitely something you'll want to track down. If you need some help playing Super Famicom games on your Super Nintendo, make sure to check out my Tough Enough video where I walk you through the very simple process of modifying your system. And again, since it's an import game, and a relatively obscure one at that, I can't fully guarantee how easy it is to secure a copy of your own. Who knows, maybe you can find it in a box of pachinko games like I did. <laughs>